good Saturday morning to you. This is going to be a quick one, I promise, because I'm up against a hard deadline for tomorrow and need to be about that. However, it seems that whenever or oftentimes when I am writing a response to someone's commentary, I end up writing what could be a good outline for a video of my own and I move on because I have other things on my mind and I don't stop and actually record it. So here we are. What am I talking about? The interviews from the day before yesterday and yesterday from the jailhouse with Fred Hill and Ziggy as reporting. Now, I'm just going to go straight into my commentary and read it to you because it encapsulates what I think about this at this time. Zig is biased and has admitted to so subtly. If any of this is true, what Fred has told Ziggy from the two conversations she's had with him in Hawkins County Jail, she broke the story. Fair enough. Consider Laura, Fred's partner, was arrested after Fred and after we learned allegedly Fred's sisters wanted her off the property. More than one way to skin a cat, so to speak. Fred, as you have pointed out, led Zig on a merry dance straight off a year and a half ago with the alleged Bones incident. Is this wild tale we're hearing from jail a leaked story from law enforcement via Fred? Look over here, not where we're actually looking. Additionally, on day two, Zig is calling everyone questioning these stories haters. Claims that everyone with questions are jealous. That's absolutist thinking, black and white, one or the other. She's not separated herself from the story as a reporter must. If she broke the story, I'm fine with it. I don't care she got it, not any of us. It's fine. Not jealous of you, Zig. And I think that if you want to improve the way your shows are presented, you would stop, take a breath, and think it through. Your long-term survivability as a channel, if this is what you're going to base your channel on, true crime and reporting it, depends on you being credible. And part of your credibility involves objectivity and not being part of the story. Report the story, don't be the story. And I would say the same things to subs. I spent part of yesterday modding for the one channel that I'm associated with, and I had to continually put out fires in the form of paraphrases of Fred's statements that made the statements themselves untrue. So let's just stop and think it through. And let's, when we get brand new information, get into the habit of quoting the person giving the information as accurately as possible. That will eliminate or at least greatly cut down the telephone game. I have no animosity towards Fred or Ziggy. Like I said, if she got the story, fair enough. She did the work, she got the story. What I am concerned about is, after two years, us not getting the basic facts correctly. I hope you got something out of this. Please do go visit Zig. Links in the show notes for the second interview. And God bless you. I'll see you real soon. I'm off.